Hey, are you thinking of watermarking your images? Well, think again. Here come four reasons why watermarks are useless. Today in the studio. Hello everyone, my name is Alex Silva and today I'd like to talk to you about watermarks. Well, let's start with saying, hey, what is a watermark? Uh, you've probably seen it, it's usually some sort of signature or text that is uh, in front of an image that gives you an idea of who shot it or who is the owner of that image. And yes, it can be used in that, that way, but uh, uh, let me explain why those watermarks are usually useless. Number one, they get in the way. Well. Some people uh, add watermarks that are right across the image. So, well, it's pretty clear that you're going to see the watermark and it's going to get in the way of the image. Or some other people may try and have the image as a logo, uh, very discreet in a corner. And that's a great effort. I, re I really like that. However, if you study a bit more about photography and imaging and interpretation of our images and things like that, you will see that an image, a photography, is comprised of the whole frame. That's why if you add anything to it, it's going to distract your audience. I need you to answer a simple question. What do you want people to see? Your image as a whole? Or do you want them distracted by your watermark? Number two, they are very easy to remove. Nowadays, with the different tools that have been added to either Photoshop or GIMP or many other photo processing images, uh, uh, there are these new tools that are used to remove unwanted objects or unwanted portions of an image. Um, Guess what? Those same tools can be used to remove your watermark. If somebody wants to use your image without your permission and removing your, the watermark, they will simply do it. Number three, many people use their watermarks in order to track their exposure. Uh, sometimes people, some photographers work in the form of exchange. I have done it. Many people do it. And whether you use uh, you, uh, exchange time for your downloads or things like that, um, many, many times these exchanges are done in the exchange of exposure in the, so that the pro photographer provides images, let's say, to a fashion designer or whatever. And the fashion designer promises to provide some exposure and bring some clients to the photographer. And it doesn't really always happen. Sometimes the photographers use those watermarks in order to track if they are being mentioned or if, if they are getting some exposure from their customers. And the image itself does not provide any tool for you to actually track that exposure. However, if you use a Facebook business page or an Instagram business profile, or uh, Pinterest business profile or whatever business tool in, in whatever uh, social network that you, that you work, um, those different business uh, profiles have tools in order for you to actually track mentions and tags. Those can be tracked and those can actually be tracked to sales. So those are the tools that you can use to see if that exposure actually brought new customers. Number four, watermarks do not provide any sort of protection or proof of ownership. Anybody can watermark an image. Hey, even pirates watermark movies that you can download. And that doesn't mean the pirate is the owner of the movie, that's right. The way for you to show that you own an image is to register. 
you're going to register your image with the intellectual property authority in your country. I'm going to actually add links to the intellectual property um, authorities in the, in the States, in Mexico, the UK and Chile. Those are the ones that I've worked with before and they have pretty clear processes. If you, if you live in any other country, you just go Google it and you will find it. Pretty much any country has some sort of authority that provides protection for intellectual property. That's where you can register your, your images and that can provide legal basis for any dispute that you may have. So that when, whenever you have some sort of um, commercial product, that's when you should, you should register. You're not going to register all your images. But whenever you have some sort of commercial interaction with, uh, with, a, with a customer, you can register your images and make sure in your contract that you define what are the rights that you are providing to this customer. So whenever there is a problem, a misuse of your image, you can take your registration and your contract and those two will serve as your legal basis for any sort of protection of your work. I'm not a lawyer. Please talk to somebody in your country, in your area that can that is specialized in intellectual property in order to fill in the blanks in all, in all this uh, thing that I described. But in general terms, registration and contracts are those that provide protection for your images. In the end, it's up to you to watermark your images. They may be helpful in some cases, but in most cases, they are useless. I really hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative. If you like this video, press the like button. If you'd like to keep up to date with this channel, of course, subscribe to it. Make sure that you hit the, uh, the bell notification symbol. And if you'd like to read the blog posts and participate in other online activities, please visit my website, alexsilva.photography. But most importantly, please remember to keep learning and keep shooting. See you next week.